Ah, uh, hello everybody and welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy IX and... Well, I made my way back to Mount Galoog to... Well, to try and face this enemy is the Wraith. Now, the version you want is dependent on the color of their robe and... These are blue ones and these are the ones I actually want. And I don't know. This one's casting Doom. I don't think I have a way around it. Ah, but luckily it missed. Either that or it's based off of the color of the flame. I can't remember. Oh, I need to weaken it first, so I might have to have BB do that. Yeah, I'll wrap upside the head with a stick would do it. Ooh, and Zidane stole Topaz. That's not good. Let's see, is there anything that can cure? No, I don't. I don't think I have it. I hope this works. Alright, I got the blue magic I wanted. It's Frost. Oh. <clears throat> and Freya's done for it. I try to remember if the fire spell actually helps take care of Frost, but that Fiaraga spell also dealt. Get enough damage to take Freya out. Also, I switched out Dagger for Vivi because there's something I want to do that involves having Vivi and Queena in your party at the same time. Alright, and now that I got the blue magic I wanted to get from here, I'll. Well, I'll meet you outside. Alright everyone, I'm back and I made it to my airship and, well, can't exactly park this thing in snow. So, next thing I want to do actually is... It's actually right here. Oh wait, this is the fourth Q's Marsh. I should... I found this before, so this is something I can do off... I should have done off screen. So I'll go ahead and do that quickly and be right back. Alright, I'm back. I just realized I forgot that I can catch frogs here. So I might as well do a little bit of that. Well, particularly doing this because... I haven't done it here yet. And this may be the easiest spot to do it. I think it's... This may be the easiest spot I can... I can catch frogs, so... That's pretty nice. There's... Alright, I'll keep that one. That should do it. I only need 12 more, so... Once I... Well, once I get to 99, I'll probably show... 
Well, once I get to a point where I can get to 99, I'll show it because that's when the next one's supposed to be. And that might not be for some time. <clears throat> Alright, where I put my airship? Oh, it's right behind me. Now, next place I want to go. And actually, you can use the map to auto travel, but. Oh, there it is. Juan's dwelling. Yeah, you can auto travel, but you're also going about as fast as you would normally travel. Just, just that you're set on a course and you can't deviate from it. And what's there is why I have Phoebe and Queena in my party. Yeah, it'll slow down and then stop once you get to your destination. A little bit and voila there we go yeah might as well enter Quan's dwelling huh yeah and for this part if you have Queen and Vivi in your party we get this Hmm. Well, I guess Queen Anne does have a sensitive nose. Or heightened senses, I would say. I mean, Queen Anne's a gourmand, so... Ah! So there's something nice here to eat. Ah, oh, so there was a lot of food here, I guess. Hmm, so, real question is, how did all this food get here? Or is it just an illusion? Wait. You can't eat anymore, Queena? Uh. I think it was an illusion. Yeah. So what can cause... A, what could cause Queena to imagine food being there but not Zidane? Wait a minute. I know that's the spot where we... Huh. Who is that? Oh. So, yeah, who's that? Wait, you're, you're Quan? You're Vivi's grandpa? Ah. So because Queena saw the world, she could see the illusion of food there. Oh, and there's Quale. Former master. Ah. Hmm. Oh. So that's. I'm guessing that's why the real reason why Kuale d didn't like Quan. It's. It's just a difference of opinion, I guess. Ah. So, because Queen has got to try all sorts of different foods around the world, Queen can imagine what what food looks and tastes like. Ah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. It's a way of saying that. It, Every culture has its delicacies, and if 
if you just think, well, just think it, well, think about the food, you realize that how they're able to eat it and imagine it as food instead of whatever you're taught it was before. Hmm. Ah. So, BB might have been the reason you never came back. Hmm. Well, I just gonna say I'm bad at advice, I guess, but. Hmm. Ah, so. So, BB kind of sparked Quan's imagination to try food all around the world? Or, Quan already fought that and BB kind of sparked, re sparked that? I don't know, but. Hmm. Ah, Quan's no longer there. I'm guessing it was its spirit. And because Vivi has a strong connection, Kuala and Quan are kind of using their imaginations. They could all see Quan. Yeah. Hmm. So Quan was a ghost. Yeah, there is still plenty to do. Oh wait, that clock. Ah, so now Zadon had enough imagination to find a pair of running shoes. Yeah, so I think I'm done here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch Queena and Vivi out because they're they're. Air levels are higher than are among the highest, and I actually want to go to Trino next, so I'll meet you there. All right, I am back, and I made my way back to the Trino weapon shop, and there's a new monster I can try to beat. Now, I'm don't have any setups for some of the quick tactics. There's one I thought I could do, but it turns out I can't yet. But... I think Zidane can handle it. And there's our enemy. Oh, it's got bio, so... So it did say to... Put... Oh. Yeah, put antibody, and it's Andusius, the monster. Alright, and I got the status it's on. The tent trick actually worked for once. Alright, now it's up in the air, so I'm thinking if I had long reach, this would work better, but I'll try Thievery, see how that does. <clears throat> Alright, it took a bit of poison damage. Alright, 3928. I still need to power that up a bit. Keep using thievery. Alright, down it goes. 
Yeah, there's a whole thing where it's actually vulnerable to petrification. And had I gone to a certain place, Zidane could have used Soul Blade to take care of it. Alright, and I got some more running shoes, so... So, I think what's next is, I think I'm going to turn that Koopo nut, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I decided to actually call an audible for this, for this time. I decided to try my luck at the auction house. Alright, so what is it? Ooh, a magician's robe. Fairy earrings. Ooh, Un's Miri. I do want that. And there's a reflect ring. Alright, the magician's robe. I don't really need. But I'll... Might as well grab it. The item I actually want is Un's Mirror. Yeah, just let them bid. Yeah, don't worry. I, I think I should have plenty of money for this. Waiting. Yeah, I'll snipe. I'm. I don't really need to, but actually, because Black Mage Village is open up again at this point, <clears throat> I can do the Cotton Road trick over and over and over. It might be easier to do it through the Black Mage Village because then you don't have to go through Benicia finding enemies to... And then going back to Limblum, you can just go to Dolly Den, the Black Mage Village. And besides, making two stops makes it easier than having to stop at three. Wow, those angel earrings are going fast. Why is it the fairy's earrings? I forgot already. <clears throat> you wonder why Fia Light says it's such a scrub playing games? That's why. This is sure taking forever. Yeah, I'll snipe. It's an accessory. Why not? I didn't really need it, but this is the one I want. Oon's Mirror. Alright, that's the difference between them what I've seen in Final Fantasy 3. Not the SNES Final Fantasy 3, the actual Final Fantasy 3. Ooh. That, that's getting very rich here. Not surprising, it's a super rare item. At this point, they're jacking up the price. Jeez, quit jacking up the price, people.
Yes, I'm buying it. Alright. Got Un's mirror, which is very important. And finally, the reflect ring. I already have one of those. Ooh, no. I don't want to snipe now. I mean, it said that the auction house only sells one reflect ring. So, I might as well grab it. What? Ugh. Again, jacking up the price. As usual. Yeah. It's time. Alright, I got everything. I don't need to get any more. So, I might as well show... There is one other thing I did off screen before this, and let's see. All right, I also grabbed the last two chocograph pieces, so now I can put those together to form a chocograph. And of course, there's Yun's, Yun's mirror. I got that. Got Goga's artifact. Got the rat tail. I think only thing missing is. As far as these are concerned, might be the mini sin and the Griffin's heart. And of course, there's our Koopa nut. I'm thinking I might come back to Trina in a later episode to try and get the last of those items. The rare items, I, if I remember right, those lead to an. Yeah. Those do lead to another rare item that that leads to some that's supposed to lead to something nice, but yeah, I'll meet you. <coughs> yeah, now that I'm done with my audible, I might as well meet you back at Gizmo Gaze Grotto to get the coupon nut delivered. All right, I made my way back to Gizmo Gaze Grotto where it's time to deliver the coupon nut. And, hey, sure, you can have this. Ooh, I get another tent that I don't really need, but there's also something else we can do here. You can climb up the vine. I mean, you could do this as early as disc one, but now that I've been doing the friendly monster chain, there's actually a never, another reason to be up here. And let's see, should I, oh yeah, I should head over there. This might give me more room. Said this friendly monster appears in a forest and you can actually meet grand dragons up here. So it's kind of dangerous. I made sure to save before I even delivered the coupon nut. And, oh yeah, and just for equipment's sake, I gave, actually, come to think of it, I should put Aiko on the Hamelin, because if this works out, she'll get all these skills done. And she's also on the Pemis piece. Yeah, there was no reason for me to buy that second Magician's Robe. I just, if you weren't digitaling on the chocographs. That's the way to get one. And this was not the monster I was looking for. Quick. 
Alright, that's not as strong as it used to be. Alright, and the down skin to level. So, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep looking for this friendly monster and I'll be right back. Alright, I found it. This is the actual friendly monster. Yes, at Garuda, the other one was not so friendly. Ah, oh, Lapis Lazuli. I have plenty of those for you, Mr. Friendly Monster. Let me just find it. Ah, oh, there it is. Ah, oh, those recover a lot of health. Huh, it's giving us no clue as to where the next monster in the chain is. And this is why I had the handling on Aiko. She learned all, well, she mastered all of those. And I get a diamond. So yeah, there is one last thing I want to do and I'll meet you, I'll meet you by where I have my chocobo part. Alright, I'm back and I'm with my chocobo, so yeah, now that I have all six of the chocograph pieces, there is actually one more chocograph that I can find. Alright, it says here, look around the small is located in the northeastern shore of the Mist Continent. Hmm, wait, I need to consult my map. Well, I need to consult a map. And let's see. Alright, I... I should have known it. Oh! Sorry, I thought Present B would have made my choke Won't go faster, right? My mind slipped. That's what happens when you get older. You forget things easier. It's it's more of a curse than anything. <sighs> yeah, now that I got an idea of where it is, I'm just gonna run to it. Oh, this might be easier if I... Alright, there's Dolly, so... I think off screen, I gotta do some cotton rope tricks so I can regenerate some funds. Alright, so yeah, it was easier to run to the beach than around it. No, it's not around here. It said northeast. That was more north than northeast. I think it's supposed to be around here. I think. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be around here. I'm not good at locating choco grass, but
Ah, oh, I think I'm close. But how close am I? Not close enough. So, somewhere around this area. Real question is, can I find it before the end of today's episode? There we go! So, what's in here? Ah, night night gas. Sleepy gas. Well, looks like we're back in the dream world. And... Hey. Nice to meet you again, Mr. Mr. Fat Chocobo. Well, I think that's what he's called, Fat Chocobo. Ah, so now we can fly, fly around. Ah, and we can take off and land in forest too. Ah. All right. Thank you. All right, so now that I got Sky Chocobo, if I remember right, I wait a minute, I best close this one out. Yeah, there's still three Choco Grass missing. I think I know where. I think I got an idea of where where I'm supposed to go next. So I think I'll just, I think I know where, where the next spot to find. And it is next, if I remember right. I might, I had noticed something when I was heading to Estogaza from, from the south east. I think it was close to he around here. But I think I might need to consult some things before I try and find it. So I do want to see something. Oh. I think it is, is... I think it's gone. Or I just need to retrace what I was doing before. Either that or it's changed location since I last played. Yeah, we still can't climb up. to do that. Yeah, I think it's gone now. So, I think what I'm going to do is call it into the episode here and next episode I might as well get started doing try and finish off some of the rest of the side quests I was doing. So until then, I want you to have a good day and hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Later everybody.